to show law of equimarginal utility diagrammatically we will be taking two set of axes parallelly one will be taken like this and the second set of axes will be taken just next to it so on the x axis as per the example we have taken we will be taking rupees spent similarly on the x axis of the other set of axes again you will take rupees spent and on the y axis you will be taking utility similarly you will be taking utility on the y axis of the other set of axes also so here we will be in the first set of axes we will be showing marginal utility of mangoes and on the second set of axes we will be showing the marginal utility of milk and then we will establish the equi marginal utility so for that we will be taking the values 12 10 8 6 4 and 2 similarly you will take values here also 12 10 8 6 4 and 2 right now let's quickly plot the values of marginal utility of mangoes the rupees spent were 1 2 3 4 and 5 similarly these were the rupees spent 1 2 3 4 and 5 now let's quickly plot the marginal utility of mangoes so in the first uh, rupees spent we get 12 from mangoes if we spend the second rupee we get 10 if we spend the third rupee on mangoes we get 8 if we spend the fourth rupee on mangoes we get 4 a 6 and if we spend five, fifth rupee on mango we get 4 utils of marginal utility so this what you get is your marginal utility curve for mangoes similarly we will plot from milk the first rupee spent on milk gives us 10 the second rupee spent on milk gives us 8 the third rupee spent on milk gives us 6 and the fourth rupee spent gives us 4 and the fifth rupee spent gives us 2 so this becomes your marginal utility curve for milk so as you can see uh, the consumer gets an equal marginal utility when the last rupee spent on mangoes and milk gives us equi marginal utility so this you will called as the equi marginal utility line so this represents that along this line when the consumer spends 3 rupees on mangoes and 2 rupees on milk he gets equi marginal utility